Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit crazy but totally cool. We're going to be extracting capsaicin from some of the world's hottest chili peppers. So join me right after this. The chili peppers we're using today are the Trinidad scorpions and they are some seriously hot peppers. Some would argue even hotter than the Carolina Reaper. So what we need to do first is dry them out, which I've been doing now for a day or two. And we need them to be really, really dry, like, like crispy dry, because we're going to be crushing them up and that will be what we use to actually extract the capsaicin. The method we're using is essentially using a solvent. The solvent I'm going to use today is ethanol and you can use others. Uh, methanol is actually a better extractor and you'll get a better yield from the capsaicin. But methanol can be a little bit dangerous if you don't evaporate it properly after the fact. Uh, you're going to have a problem because methanol is toxic. So I'm going to be using ethanol, which is basically what's in alcohol. So that will do the extraction. However, we're going to do something a little bit special. We're not just going to soak it inside the ethanol. We're going to use something called a Soxlet extractor. And what this allows you to do is use a minimal amount of ethanol over and over again throughout the system to do the extraction of the capsaicin from the chili peppers. Now, if you didn't have a Soxlet extractor, you could just soak the peppers inside ethanol. You'd have to use quite a lot more and ethanol is not exactly cheap. But that is a way to do it. This way here is just a very cool way to do it. There's a tiny little hole here which is connected to this pipe. This pipe here acts as a siphon which uh, is going to allow the extracted capsaicin to filter down into the bottom flask. This cotton wool is going to allow none of the chili flakes to clog up that hole. Because if the chili flakes get stuck inside that pipe then this whole process is going to be a pain in the backside because you won't be able to clean out the chili flakes from inside this tiny pipe. Before we do anything further we need to crush up these lovely peppers that we've dried so let's get that done. You don't want to squish it down too far because it'll become too packed and dense and you'll battle to get the extraction to do what it needs to do. There we go. And what you'll notice is the top of the small pipe over here, which does the siphoning, is just above the level of the peppers. One last thing I'm going to do, and I don't know how necessary this really is, but uh, I'm just going to do it anyway, and that is to put some cotton wool at the top. For this extraction, we're going to use about 200 milliliters of ethanol. So I'm going to measure that out quickly and we're going to pour some of it into the top here, into the Soxlid extractor itself, and the rest we're going to pour down into the round bottom flask. We can see here that the ethanol is already starting to pull some of the capsaicin out of the peppers. So it's already starting its job. And I'm just going to fill this up just below the level of where the siphon would actually begin. Here we have a bucket of water which is going to help with the condensing of the ethanol. I'm going to put in some ice so we get this water a bit cooler and that's going to help the ethanol condense. It's using a cheap pump over here which is just a small aquarium pump and uh, I have it raised quite a bit because it is a cheap pump so it can't really pump water too high. Here's the condenser. We have the water coming in at the base and it's going to pump up and it's going to come out at the top there and it's going to keep recirculating. Let's turn the pump on and get that started. What we have here is a cheap camping stove, which again, I'll link all the stuff in the uh, description down below where you can get it, but it's a cheap camping stove. We have a pot with oil. Don't use water as your thermal mass. 
because it'll just evaporate. Oil is far better and it's reusable. Inside that round bottom flask is the ethanol, like I mentioned before. And we're going to get this to a temperature about five or six degrees above the boiling point of the ethanol. And that'll allow the condensation to happen in a quick enough way. That ethanol is going to evaporate. It's going to come up the bigger tube, which is this one over here, above the chili peppers. So we can see over there, it's going to rise up into there. And you can see at the bottom of the condenser, there's a small opening. The ethanol is then going to rise up into that tube and it's going to rapidly cool with the water that's circulating. Once that ethanol has condensed, we should see it start to drip down through that middle bit and it will then come through here. Now the benefit of the system is because we're distilling the ethanol essentially, we're going to have clear ethanol coming through the top. Because what's going to happen is, once this here is topped up beyond this level and we create a bit of a siphon in that loop, what's going to happen is all that colored liquid, which is pulling the capsaicin from the chili peppers, is going to drip down through back into this ethanol that's down the bottom there. And when we're distilling the ethanol, we're going to have pure ethanol coming back up the tube, back to the top, and starting that cycle again, which is then going to keep pulling more and more of the capsaicin from this until eventually you're going to see that instead of this being this orange color, it's going to be clear, and then you know the process is done. This is the ethanol mixed with the capsaicin that we've been extracting from our chili peppers using the Soxlid extractor. And what we need to do now is remove the ethanol so that we can reuse that at a later date and that will leave us with just the capsaicin. So we're just going to use a basic distillation process to do this and that means we need to just rinse out as much of the capsaicin uh, that is left behind in the small beaker just using a little bit more ethanol because we'll be able to recover that later anyway. And don't forget to add some of those anti-bumping granules to the flask, else you may come up against some problems. You can see it's not boiling as vigorously as it was before because most of the ethanol now has boiled out of it and has distilled down into this flask. So that's got a couple more drops coming through, but I think I'm pretty much done. It gets quite difficult to work with this stuff if you, uh, if you boil out all the ethanol. So there we have our capsaicin, which has still got a little bit of the uh, ethanol in there, but that's pretty concentrated. Wow, those smells. Oh, wow. That's pretty strong. <coughs> Whew. It's not a... It's not a completely unpleasant smell, but ugh, it's, yeah, it's, it's really difficult to describe. I'm just going to let this drip out so we can get as much of the capsaicin out of here as we can. Now bear in mind, obviously, with the method that I'm using here, I can't get 100% capsaicin. There is going to be other stuff in here. Uh, chlorophyll, um, you know, a few other little things, and obviously a little bit of ethanol as well. But it's pretty well concentrated. This is a killer. There's 
There's nothing in nature that's going to be as spicy as this stuff is going to be. What I'm going to use to bottle this are these little vials. And uh, again, I'll put a link down below. You can see where I put them. I learned my lesson the last time I did this. Uh, I didn't have a syringe and it made this very difficult. I was using a pipette and it just took forever because it's so gloopy. This stuff is like syrup. So I thought a syringe is going to be a much better option. face is stinging like crazy. I think that will do the job for now. And let me try and clean the edge here because I really do not want to be touching this stuff by mistake. I'm going to give this a good wash as well once I get the lid on. So we finished bottling our capsaicin. This is from 20 grams of dried scorpion pods. And yeah, this stuff is really dangerous. Honestly, if you are doing this, don't, don't underestimate just how painful this stuff is going to be. So I know the main reason a lot of you are watching this video is because you want to see me try this stuff and I am going to try it, but I'm not going to be stupid. I am going to use a toothpick, just a little dab on the end of this to give it a go. I mean, this is, it's silly stuff. This, this here, pure capsaicin is about, I think it's 16 million on the Scoville scale. This here, I would hazard a guess on the low side is at 10 million because of you know, there might be other things inside here, a little bit of impurities, chlorophyll, uh, possibly a little bit of ethanol still, but still 10 million <laughs> is hectic. So I'm going to give it a try. My face is already red because it is burning with the sweating that I'm doing, uh, the fumes that are in here. It's, uh, it's pretty potent stuff. Let me give it a go. That looks way too much. I guess the only thing left is to try it. <laughs> I'm actually scared of this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's unpleasant. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Um <clears throat> it just it coats the mouth. Um oh wow. Oh my God. <clears throat> I mean, this is why I don't like extract sources, sources that, that add extracts like this, because it really isn't a nice flavor. Um, uh, it's, everything is just burning. Um, very, very hot. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Only reason you'd <coughs> only reason you'd make this stuff is to really spice up a sauce beyond where it's already as hot as it is. But ah, skin is stinging. Um, the other reason you'd use this is if you wanted your sauce to go a bit further. In other words, uh, a lot of companies will water down their sauces, and they'll use extract or They'll even synthesize it to uh, really spice their sauces up. My mouth isn't even burning as much anymore. And it's now my face because I'm, oh, I'm sweating. The fumes that are in here are, are attaching to the sweat and it's stinging my face so badly. Oh, okay. 
I need to go wash my mouth out. I need to go wash my face. I need to cool down. That was a fun experiment. I enjoyed uh, messing around with a bit of chemistry. Um, I probably will do it again because I know a few people that actually want some of this extract. And uh, yeah, I learned quite a lot uh, through my research and I enjoy learning, I enjoy reading. Um, do your own research as well. If you are going to try this, make sure you have read up as much as you can. It can be dangerous working with heat, with oil and with all the chemicals that I'm working with. And especially dangerous working with capsaicin like this. Um, I need to go and take care of myself now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And until the next video, stay spicy. <laughs> <sighs> That's not very nice. <sighs>